Welcome to WAC Basketball Preview Days presented by Hercules Tires. I'm Kendra Sheehan. California Baptist men's basketball program joins us. Head coach Rick Croy in his ninth season with the Lancers. Ty Rowell voted to preseason all WAC first team by the coaches. And dad, Dan Aachen, a grad forward. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Coach, I'll start with you. Midnight Madness coming up on Friday. What opportunity does that give the community to get a peek at this basketball program after a long year of socially distanced basketball? Well, Midnight Madness has always been a great, exciting event on our campus, but even more so this year. You know, we didn't have the chance to execute it last year because of the pandemic, and our guys are excited, our student body is excited, and there's a ton of enthusiasm on campus about basketball season starting up. And the first five games are at home. How does that give the opportunity for the community to come in and see some games? And also, how much of a factor is the community going to be in terms of being that sixth man for the team? Our community support is a big part of our build. And we had our tip-off dinner last Friday. Bill Walton was the keynote speaker. It was the first time that we've hosted an event uh, since February of 2020. So um, again, exciting times, but our community uh, and the way they support us, a big part of our attack and the whack, and uh, we're excited to play these first five at home. I think we're going to draw great crowds and, and represent. Ty, this offense has the ability to be really difficult to slow down between you, Reed, Trey, and some of the other guys. What is it about this offense that makes it so hard to slow down? Uh, well, I think we have these these great returners, and uh, we each of us have such a an awesome shooting ability. And then on top of that, this experience with each other. So this is going to be a lot of a lot of guys read and Trey. This is my third year playing with them. So that experience, and then with a bunch of new great uh, transfers and freshmen coming in, we're going to have a a bunch of new great great players. You spent your entire college career. With the Lancers, how have you watched this program evolve since you first stepped foot on campus? Uh, well, the, the program's evolved and we've grown. The community's gotten so much stronger around us and in, in support, um, especially with the campus and students. And then on top of that, I've just been able to build such strong relationships with the coaching staff and with, with all the players uh, around me. So it's been a great experience. Dan, what has it been like getting acclimated to CBU? Uh, it's been great. My brothers have welcomed me. Uh, just, yeah, it's been great. Everyone on the team has welcomed me really well. Obviously, not being in California, so can't really complain. <laughs> Can't complain there. What has your mindset been like coming into this season? Maybe it's different than years past. Uh, my mindset has been uh, try and bring some of my like experiences in college to this new team and then just try and dive in and be a, a part of the culture at CBU. As an outsider coming in, how potent can this offense be? Yeah, when we start clicking, it's really fun to watch. So it's obviously a lot of threes being thrown up. So obviously that's good to see. The crowd wants to see that. So it's really a sound offense. Ty, when you hear Dan talk about fitting into the culture here, what is that culture like at CBU that you've helped establish over your time? Um, well, I think... Coach Croy and the coaching staff really preaches leadership on all fronts. So that comes from the guys on the bench, that comes from our freshmen. So everyone has a chance to lead and everyone has a chance to really make a difference on this team. And that's why we have such a tight brotherhood. And that's why we're able to, you know, have such a great season. And I think we're going to have. Coach, you have a lot more depth to your roster this year. How big will that be, especially when it comes down to conference play? Yeah, we, we think it's going to be really big for us. You know, I think our returners have each improved. You know, they were able to gain great experience last year, and we think they've had quality off seasons. And then to be able to go out and get some, some great transfers. You know, Dan's got great experience competing at this level. Uh, Chance Hunter's got really solid experience. Uh, Pavel Zakharov coming from Gonzaga. Uh, he knows what it takes to win. Uh, and then we added some freshmen. Uh, some really good freshmen, a really good freshman class that we think uh, can help us as well. Taryn Armstrong has great international experience. So, you know, yet you have to hit on all fronts. Your returners have to improve. The new guys that you bring in, uh, they got to be good fits for your program. 
And then it all has to come together. And that's what we're trying to do right now is use every single day uh, to build a really strong team. Obviously, you're not going to be playing your best basketball right now, but how have you seen this team come together in terms of bringing in those new guys and the returners coming back so far after a couple of weeks? Well, I think a few things. One, a blue collar work ethic. These guys love to work. You know, they they run into the fight. You know, they love lifting. They love getting on the practice floor. They love putting in the extra work late at night. And that's a big part of our culture. You know, we we really not just player development, but personal development. We want all our guys to grow as people and basketball players and really become part of the greater community. And these guys are doing that. And the second part is the joy. You know, it's it's a long season and you have to enjoy it. And these guys love being around each other. And, and we think that can really pay off for us down the road. Dan, is it true what coach said that when you came in, you could see the, the guys running to the fight, wanting to get better? Is it different from other teams that you've been on? Yeah, definitely. It's like the one thing, the biggest thing here is the work effort. The work effort here is just unmatched. So I feel like that's going to uh, carry us to have a good season. And coach, you run an offense that can certainly score, averaging nearly 80 points a game, shooting 40% from a distance. How were you able to run such an efficient offense? And where do you think that offense can grow this year? Well, we've got great shooters. You know, I mean, our offense starts with the ability to spread the floor. And I think where we can grow is we've got more depth. We've got more versatility. I think we'll be able to come at people in waves. And that's going to be important for us that all of our guys continue to improve. And we're counting on that, you know, every day in practice. Uh, you know, we're we're talking about bringing our best effort and, and we really want to be an improved defensive team. You know, last year we were uh, we were very good on the offensive end of the floor. Two years ago, uh, we were one of the better defensive teams. We got to put it all together this year and, and we feel we have the depth to do that and got to go out there and uh, enjoy the process. It's going to be fun with these guys. And coach, you've gotten a lot of talent from Australia. How have you grown your recruiting reach over your time here? Well, I think, you know, it's it's about the people in your program having great experiences, comprehensive experiences, you know, classroom, floor, community, uh, growing as people. And, you know, for us, that that goes back a long way, all the way back to Jordan Heading out of Adelaide. And he became a great performer for us in the WAC at almost 17 points a game. And uh, he's had a very successful pro professional career. And, you know, when guys have good experiences, they – they tell their buds and and guys come in here and, um, you know, they spread the word and hopefully we can get a few more guys from from London, England, because this guy to my left here is a, a heck of a competitor. And, you know, we, we've uh, also tapped into Canada. We've got a really strong international roster and um, that's that's been a big part of our build. Ty, where do you feel like your game has improved the most and what is something that you've been focusing on in the off season? Um, so definitely, you know, after a, a good season with, with the team last year, we kind of went back and, and in the off season, talked to the coaches and thought about areas where we can improve. And one of my main thoughts was to have a good season this year and, and really have a, a great chance at contending for this uh, WAC championship. So working on things like leadership, defensively I need to rebound more a lot of those kind of intangibles that aren't on the offensive side of the floor and how tough are those goals going to be in this new league that added four tough teams absolutely it's not going to be easy but I think we have the toughness we have the 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 guys on the team that are that are willing to put in the work that that blue collar work ethic that coach has been preaching we have that uh that toughness and that that work ethic to do it Lastly, coach, how will that blue collar work ethic that this team displays help you with those four new teams? What does that do for this conference? Well, we, we know the conference got tougher. And, you know, last year there was a lot of parity and depth in the conference. Um, and there's going to be even more this year. And every time you go on the road, you're, you're going to have to be resilient. When you play at home, you got to take care of home floor. There are going to be great challenges. Uh, it's a very athletic, tough, defensive-minded conference, uh, and and you got to bring it. You got to bring the toughness, and that's what we're trying to build in our program every day. And we're excited about the challenges. Obviously, we've got some great non-conference games to get us ready, 
And then, uh, you know, 18 games in a whack, um, those are, those are all going to be tough and we'll take them one at a time, but we're looking forward to it and looking forward to getting back in the event center and representing CBU in the event center. Well, Coach Croy, Ty, Dan, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to toss it off to Chris Thompson. He's going to let the rest of the media ask you all some questions. Good luck this season. It was great meeting you all. Thank you very much.